This mango is as fresh as can be. It has just been picked. The farmers have to pluck each one by hand. The harvest this year is good. Cherry Atalano manages this farm outside Manila. She is 27 years old and studied agronomy. The farm also grows pumpkins and other vegetables. Wow, big. And they don't use any chemicals. This is an organic farm. And our farmers are trained to plant organically. So for example, we actually wrap our fruits in plastics or papers because we don't spray uh, chemical pesticides and insecticides. So it's healthy because uh, we do believe that our farmers first, their safety is very, very important. You know, they're the one being exposed in the fields. Imagine, it's so hot in the fields and then they'll use chemical pesticides and insecticides. They're really, you know, you're killing them. The people here used to live in the slums of the capital and work as day labourers at odd jobs. Now they're learning new skills, including farming. Here at Enchanted Farm, each family has its own little house with running water and electricity. For many, that is true luxury. They work together to develop the farm further. They're building a bank to provide microcredits to the rural population. It is a social entrepreneurship project financed by a large corporation. Cherry Atalano is the contact person for all involved. It was Antonio Melotto who dreamed up the project. He has received many awards for his community leadership efforts. For Cherry Atalano, he is a role model and an inspiration. She chose to work with him after she completed her studies. There will be more peace in the countryside if we build homes, provide water systems, build uh, every home has a toilet where they, there is clean air, there is uh, good public health, there is uh, where people have jobs and kids are in school. Mm -hmm. So there will be less rebels, and there will be less criminals. Cherry Atalano grew up on a farm. Since she was a child, she always wanted to work in agriculture. Now she can make good use of everything she learned at university. Mutual respect is a basic principle of conduct here on the farm. For many, it is something new to be shown any respect. I do believe that they're composing the backbone of our economy, which is agriculture and producing food for our population. But it's been a while that there seems to be abandoned. So my work with them is actually a journey of discovering my purpose in life, of discovering how I can be valuable in terms of helping them and how we can really build an economy that there's no one is being left behind. Cherry Atalano wants to help society to make things better for ordinary people in the Philippines. Many like-minded young people from around the world come to visit the model farm and work there for a while. You don't know? There is also a farm shop. They are still learning how to market their produce and their products. This is lemongrass tea. Now you connect the genius of the poor because they have skills, they have innovative uh, talents to make things, but somehow they lack the business ideas. They lack how to make business plan, how to do supply chain management and everything. People will only want to live in the country if they can make a living there, if their children can go to school and if they feel they have a future. They have also built a library at Enchanted Farm, funded by donations. Just three years ago, hardly any of these children went to school. More than 50 former slum dwellers work on the farm.
for me, the fulfillment of my dream is basically the fulfillment of the dreams of our farmers that we've been helping, the community that we've been helping at the Gawad Kalinga Enchanted Farm, and of course, to help our country, to build this nation. Our country needs help, tremendous help, and our problem in our country is so huge that not a single solution can make it. Cherry Atalano's work has drawn considerable attention. She now advises the government on ways to improve life on the land.